The Romans conquered this part of Britain in AD 48. William the Conqueror built the castle during the late 11th century, along with the cathedral, once designated as the tallest man-made structure in the world. Join me now as we take a look at the historical, beautiful city of Lincoln. We start our journey with a look at the oldest bridge in the United Kingdom, built in 1160 along with the Bridge Chapel and then dedicated to Thomas Becket in 1235, a common occurrence on medieval English bridges. The chapel was removed in 1762. timber frame shops on the west side of the bridge date from about 1550. The Glory Hole is the name given by generations of boaters to the High Bridge in Lincoln. It has a narrow and crooked arch which sets a limit on the size of boats using the river with them. The Guild Hall has been the meeting place of Lincoln City Council from medieval times to the present stone archway that visitors entering the city from the south would have passed through. Starting at the strait, it's time to venture upwards on what is known as the Steep Hill, one of Britain's steepest climbs. Its name comes from its gradient, which is both difficult to get up as well as down. At the steepest part, the gradient is 1 in 7. Jews House is one of the earliest townhouses in England and dates from the mid-12th century. Halfway up you'll see the famed crooked lamppost and it's a sure sign to take a rest. Lincoln Castle is a major Norman castle during the late 11th century built by William the Conqueror on the site of a pre-existing Roman fortress. After William the Conqueror defeated Harold Godwinson and the English at the Battle of Hastings on the 14th of October 1066, he continued to face resistance to his rule in the north of England. When William reached Lincoln, one of the country's major settlements, he found a Viking commercial and trading centre with a population of six to 8,000. The remains of the old Roman walled fortress proved an ideal strategic position to construct a new castle. Work on the new fortification was completed in 1068. The castle was the focus of attention during the First Battle of Lincoln on the 2nd of February 1141, during the struggle between King Stephen and Empress Matilda over who should be monarch in England. A new tower called the Lucy Tower was built on the site. Stephen was captured during the battle, imprisoned and effectively deposed, while Matilda ruled for a short time. The jail was built in 1787 and extended in 1847. The 1787 Governor's House and the 1847 Prison are now Grade 2 Heritage listed buildings. Lincoln Castle's Victorian Prison was designed for the separate system, an isolating regime that kept prisoners apart from the corrupting influence of their fellow prisoners. The Victorians believed that this would encourage them to reflect and repent, and more importantly, to reform. Imprisoned debtors were allowed some social contact, but the regime for criminals was designed to be one of isolation. The seating in the prison chapel is designed to enclose each prisoner individually so that preacher could see everyone, but each could only see him.
there are many horrific stories about the lives of the prisoners and their eventual fate. Men, women and children as young as eight were held here from 1848 to 1878 for crimes ranging from stealing a waistcoat and Bible to highway robbery and murder. During this time, seven murderers were hanged at the castle and their bodies buried in Lucy Tower, where their graves can still be seen today. The Great Stone Curtain Wall is one of the boldest hallmarks of Lincoln Castle and a permanent reminder of its role as a mighty medieval stronghold. And check out the story of a bust of George III, which can also be found within the grounds. Visitors can make their way across the medieval wall walk, which is an impressive third of a mile long. The journey takes you through the history of Lincoln and a photography hotspot for panoramic views across the beautiful city and countryside. With the Norman invasion of Britain in the 11th century, William the Conqueror commissioned Remigius, the first Bishop of Lincoln, to build Lincoln Cathedral. Foundations were laid in 1072, and on May the 9th, 1092, it was consecrated, two days after the death of Bishop Remigius. At the time of its consecration, Lincoln Cathedral was the head of the largest diocese in England, extending from the Humber to the Thames. After fires and earthquakes had demanded rebuilding of some of the cathedral, it took on a Gothic style of architecture. When the central spire was eventually raised in 1311, it became the tallest building in the world, taking the mantle from the Great Pyramid of Giza. This lasted until 1549, when the spire collapsed in a storm. Despite its size, the cathedral is filled with intricate detail. In Lincoln Cathedral, the architects of the Gothic style perhaps reached the pinnacle of their art. Visiting this place is a real eye-opener. Its beauty is beyond belief, and it makes the perfect end to a fabulous tour around the wonderful historic city of Lincoln. <laughs> 